Hey guys, Dr. Luke Stringer from Advanced Health Chiropractic and we're here with Suzanne, our patient care coordinator. Uh, and what I want to discuss with you today is low back pain and how your weak posterior chain is essentially causing all your low back pain. So essentially, 90% of our patients that we work with in advanced health are what we call corporate athletes. They sit for a living, either at the desk, on planes, or driving to and from work, or a combination of both. As we previously discussed, on a biomechanical level, we're built to move, right? So all this sedentary lifestyle creates weakness, instability, and conversatory patterns. And over time, that creates essentially that conversatory issues create weakness, which leads into low back pain. So when we sit for a living, everything in front of us dominates. So your rectus abdominis, so that six pack dominates, your hip flexors that anchors your pelvis into your extremities become really dominant, and then right in these quads here get really dominant. However, our posterior chain, the back of us, particularly the muscles of the hamstring, the glutes, and then these muscles that support your low back, they're designed to keep you upright and to move you. And when we sit for a living, as we previously discussed, none of these muscles are working. So when they don't work, they become weak. That weakness leads to instability. That instability leads to compensation. And that's going to create your low back pain. So I'm going to go over a way, to, an exercise that you can do immediately, right away at work, to stop really focusing on activating your posterior chain. So if you've got a strong posterior chain, you've got a strong low back, and you should not be experiencing low back pain. So the first thing I want you to do at work is look around at your co-workers and just watch how they sit up. Because I guarantee you the majority of your co-workers are going to sit up from their desk chair like this. And sit like that, Miss Suzanne. So what happens is they flex at the pelvis because they have no posterior chain activation. They use their abs and their hip flexors and the weight of their hands to stand up and they stand up. Unfortunately, well, this creates poor activation from your posterior chain and we just discussed needs to stabilize your low back. So what I want you to start doing, sit down for me Suzanne, I want you to raise your chair up for me. I want you to start in your office chair and I want your knees above 90 degrees, okay? And then I want you to essentially sit towards the edge of your chair. You're gonna have your hip in line with your shoulder and you're gonna activate your pelvic floor. Imagine you're Woody from Toy Story and I'm pulling that belly button up and back and I want you to get up without rocking. And you're gonna sit down and show me again, Suzanne. Good, okay, and sit down. So I want you to do a set of 10 and when you can essentially do this above 90 degrees, lower it to 90 degrees for me, Suzanne. I want you then to get to 90 degrees of flexion in the knee and I want you to be able to stand up without any rocking. Good, and then you're gonna control it on the way down. And stand up for me, and then control it on the way down. Now imagine you're sitting on a bed of nails. The eccentric load, the lengthening of the tissue is as important as the concentric of you, essentially when you stand up. So if you're suffering with low back pain, start doing this uh, exercise every single day. Do it every time you get up from a seated position and watch how you become more stable and strong. But if you're suffering from low back pain, I encourage you to hit the button at the bottom of this video, fill out the contact form. We'll be in touch really shortly to get you set up for a consultation so we can offer you some solutions to get your low back pain corrected.